take a look at the next gen proven process. Here in the house, we go into the basement. Once in the basement, we locate a drill site. This would be a 10 inch hole in the concrete next to the furnace. This is where we'll put our loops into the ground. We bring in a coring bit that cuts a nice clean hole through the concrete and remove the concrete plug. Once the concrete plug is removed, we can bring in the drilling equipment. This consists of a trailer air compressor, reels of HDP line, and a hammering head that pulls the HDP line down into the ground. Let's look in the hammering head. There's a hammer that moves up and down by the compressed air. It's electronically controlled. It drives down at an angle underneath the home. This gives us a loop field that's a teepee shape. We'll see that later. Once to depth, the hammer and valve can be removed from the head. These expensive components can be reused in the next drill setup. Once the hammer is removed, an HDPE electrofuse plug is installed. An electrofuse plug is a plug that's electrically activated and heated to glue itself into the bottom of the loop. This gives us a complete plastic seal, complete HDPE seal. Here are the plugs going down to the bottom of the loop. At that point, we have a completely sealed, uh, pressure tested cavity down in the ground. The inch and a quarter HDP line is cut and its socket fuse T is installed. And then a three quarter inch line is put down the head of the T almost to the bottom. This forms the loop. We push the fluid down the three quarter inch line and it comes back up out the other side of the T. Then we can remove the A coil, the air conditioner from the home. We install a new geothermal A coil above the furnace and heat pump and then a pump pack. The pump pack is what circulates the fluid through the loop field. A header is installed, then lines are connected to each loop as seen in the video. This is how simple a next gen install is. This is the next gen proven process. From the outside the home, there's no evidence of a geothermal system being installed.